Now, I've been getting calls from lots of business owners, mostly restaurant owners, which is what I work with a lot. And they've been asking me, okay, Bill, you've talked to me about uh, using text in order to reach my people. And, and I've, I've, I know I've convinced a lot of you that the best way to reach your customers is to reach them with something that they've got with them all the time. So how do you do this? Well, first of all, in order to do this, you've got to create a, some sort of campaign. All right, some sort of some sort of idea for what you want to do. So we're going to call that your campaign. All right, and your campaign is going to have two kinds of goals. Your major goal is what you want to accomplish. In other words, uh, let's suppose uh, on Tuesday nights, which is a slow night for you, uh, you're going to start running a special, and you want to do another six hundred dollars on a Tuesday night in in sales than you've been doing. All right, so that would be your major goal. Okay, your goal would be to do $600 more in sales than you've been doing. All right, that's, that's the goal of your campaign. Now, there's several different ways you can do that. I mean, there's obviously text messaging is not the only one. But you've got to start with the idea of what it is you want to accomplish. The next thing you've got to do is you've got to say to yourself, okay, what kind of what kind of database of people do I need where I can, I can do this? Now, $600 might be a lot if, you, if your average sale, selling price is, is, is 10 bucks, so your average check is $10. But if, if, uh, if it's a, a, a $50 check, well, that, that's additional 12 people. So you're, you're saying to yourself, okay, what kind of database do I have to have in order to get 12 additional people at my uh, restaurant or whatever your business is uh, on a Tuesday night? which to meet my goal. So, so then what you're going to start doing is you're going to set, start setting campaign goals for what, how big you want your database to be. And in, in texting, what you have to have is you have to have valid cell phone numbers. All right? This means that you have to get your guests and your potential guests to, to give you their cell phone number. And you want to build up a big enough database where you can start marketing to them uh, with a special offer or whatever it happens to be. But look, folks, in order to get those numbers, I want you to think of this as your first selling job in this campaign. All right? In order to get these numbers, these cell phone numbers, you've got to sell people because what they're about to give up is something of value. Hey, look, what's your goal? You want your guests to give up an additional something of value. You want them to give up an additional $600. That's something of value. And so what do you give them for that? You give them great service. You give them food. Whatever it is you're selling, you expect to give them something of value and to get, in order to get something of value. Folks, the same thing is true in trying to establish your campaign to get cell phone numbers. You've got to give up something of value in order to get something of value. This cell phone number has got great value to these people because it infringes on their privacy, et cetera, et cetera. And, and, and they know they're going to be getting texts from you if they give them your cell phone number. So, so you've got to give them something of value. Well, in our next segment, or if you have me come out to your, 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 uh, your area there, or if you want to do a webinar online, I'm going to talk to you about what that thing of value is and how do we, how do we make the sale to get the cell phone numbers so that we can achieve the goals of our campaign. Stick with me. Got some good stuff coming up.